To this story now, the organization Women and Men Against Child Abuse says it's appalled that the alleged kingpin of a child sex ring tried to escape the hands of justice. Farad Ackerman has been rearrested after contravening his bail conditions and going missing on Friday. WMCA believes this is a clear admission of guilt. The organization is concerned that Ackerman was given bail in the first place. Mr. Ackerman has a long criminal history and he was arrested for a sexual crime against two small boys in the Santon area and appeared in the Alexandra Magistrates Court and he was granted bail in that case, um, which was, you know, despite the fact that he had a whole range of other cases that had been pending or had been finalised previously. And then while out on bail, he then was arrested for the current High Court case, which is the one that involved Advocate Kennedy. Now, we cannot come up with any other explanation why he got bail in the, uh, the case involving Advocate Kennedy, other than there was some kind of influence by the powerful Advocate Kennedy to get him bail because he was already out on bail. It's, uh, some of these are Schedule 6 offences for which you should prove that there's exceptional circumstances to get bail. None of it was considered. He got bail. He then ended up in court standing trial alone. And in the, in the running from the law now, it was after the, um, the sentences that he could be facing were put to him. We actually spoke to the National Prosecuting Authority previously um, in terms of the case in Alex, uh, the Alexandra case, because the National Prosecuting Authority consolidated the outstanding case. In other words, there were other cases that were pending against Mr. Ackerman, which they added to the High Court case, but they couldn't add the Alexandra case because it was a part heard case. In other words, it had started already. So we said to them, you know, surely this person can't have bail. He's been committing offences while he's been on bail.